Well, I, I'm currently uh, standing about uh, 10, 15 minutes walk outside Terminal 1 of Hong Kong Airport. And about uh, 10 minutes ago, there was a huge flow of thousands of protesters, black clad protesters, leaving the airport on foot to, to walk to the closest bus station. Uh, I spoke to some of them and they all told me they were part of the sit-in that was taking place at the airport earlier and that uh, part of why they were leaving was because their job was done because they'd managed to get all those flights canceled and they feel like they made enough of a statement here about what they feel is completely uh, unjust uh, uh, criminal, uh, sorry, police brutality that took place on Sunday night uh, here in the semi-autonomous territory. Um, and definitely, however, it's important to know that some protesters are con currently staying at the airport and it's not, it's not clear how long uh, they're going to stay for. And Beijing, Charles, it seems, uh, the language coming from, from them getting harsher as the, the weeks go on. Absolutely harsher and harsher every day, every week. Uh, after a couple of weeks ago, they had started talking about the fact that in Hong Kong's basic law, the Hong Kong government can call on the People's Liberation Army to intervene in the semi-autonomous ter territory uh, to restore law and order. Uh, and uh, this morning, uh, the uh, Global Times, uh, which is a uh, Chinese uh, state media outlet, published a video from the People's Liberation Army showing uh, a, a large number of tanks and other armored vehicles and uh, other military equipment uh, being tested for drills in Shenzhen, just on the other side of the border here from here in Hong Kong. So definitely they're, they keep trying to intimidate the people here to stop them from, from, making, uh, their, from doing these protests, from uh, gathering illegally, as they call it. So definitely uh, there's no sign of, of uh, Beijing uh, caving in to any of the demands of the protesters. Thank you very much, Charles, for that update. Charles Pelgrin, there near the airport in Hong Kong. Turning our attention now.